This is in response to billionaire status who asked, can you provide more example videos like how to search for particular contracts? Ask and you shall receive. Okay, y'all. So let's get into this. The three places to go to locate opportunities, sam.gov, Unison Marketplace, Nico, which is unique to the Navy, and GSA, if you have a GSA schedule. So let's start with sam.gov. You do not need to sign in, you just need to search. Over here, you'll notice, notice type. And in order to locate sources sought, you select sources sought. I like to make sure the updated date is selected and you'll notice all of the sources sought, there are 13,000. That does not mean every single one of them is active. It just means that in this system, there are 13,000 sources sought and you can see all of them here, but my goodness, this is overwhelming, right? <clears throat> what are we gonna do with 13,000 sources sought? So what I have, I love to use my search function, <laughs> my computer, is a cheat sheet of all my NAICS codes. So the best way to leverage SAM.gov is not by using phrases necessarily. You want to use the NAICS. So you go under product or service, you can cut and paste as many NAICS as you choose until the system says you can't. That way I can see, okay, what are these sources sought? NIH, they're looking for conference admin travel services. We have Department of Army, they're looking for command pro programmatic support. And these deadlines haven't passed, is you get to kind of introduce yourself to this agency and they may reach out and want to sole source to you. It may end up being a simplified acquisition. It could be that the amazing input you provide to them in your source of salt response helps what we call um, frame, influence the actual solicitation. And most important, the more small businesses, the more woman-owned, the more 8A, the more veteran-owned, the more service-disabled veteran-owned, responds to an opportunity, chances are that agency can legitimize setting it aside. If you don't respond, you don't get a chance. It's like the lotto. If you don't play, you ain't gonna win, right? You have no chance of winning, y'all. It's just how it is. So that's how you would search for a NAICS. I mean, y'all know what I mean, search for an opportunity. So let's put in another one. Let's put in my fave. Favorite one. So now we have two and there's 308. And then you also can notice, I mean, maybe you've heard of this company, maybe you haven't. Wow, they mentioned Franklin Covey. They're a very well-known training company. So you see how it varies. And when you click in here, this is where all the information is. The benefit of being signed in is you can follow the opportunity and receive email updates. For the sake of just going in here, I tend not to sign in. I just need to take a look at everything. Now, let's say you want to also include pre-solicitations. Personally, the more options in here, my brain goes crazy. It's like, ah, 423, I start to freak out. I don't like that. A pre-solicitation, they're saying to you, hey vendors, like warning, we are going to issue a possible solicitation very soon. Sometimes they'll give you a date. Sometimes when you click in here, it'll give you a link to go to where the solicitation is. So what's really cool about a pre-solicitation, it gives you some lead time so if you're like, oh, wow, they're looking for TRICARE claims. Okay, this is, well, this is old, but let's say it wasn't. You're like, oh, this is of interest. Okay, they're going to release some kind of solicitation on this. So that's what's cool about the pre-solicitation is it's giving you a heads up as far as, hey, something's gonna come out. Then you have just a good old solicitation. Whenever I'm looking for solicitations, I choose solicitation and 
combined synopsis. Why? Because they're under both of these titles and I wanna make sure I don't miss anything. And what's also cool about this is as you play around in here, you know, you by all means feel free to use keyword searches. You're, you're gonna to start to see what kind of language are they using? Which NAICS codes are they using? They being agencies, you're, you're gonna to start to see different trends. So this is a set aside for some project management training. All the information is here. And yes, you, you need to read all of these documents. Yeah, it's a lot. Some may have several, some may not really have many. And the date is listed, the type is listed. Remember it's solicitation, all of it is here. And because the federal government is open 24 seven, and when I mean 24 seven, it's in reference to there's agencies all across the world. So the federal government is posting these opportunities all of the time. So looking once a week or only on Thursday, okay, I mean, I guess, but if you really want to be able to find, bid and win profitable government contracts and get a leg up on everyone, you have to look daily because it's constantly changing. So I wanna, from here, I'm going to go into Unison because what you'll see sometimes is like you see here for USAID. They have an opportunity due on the 26th and they mention you need to go to unison unisonglobal.com to submit for this because it looks for, it looks like um, for one of their locations in Thailand, they want admin assistant workshop one and two. Let's see if this will take us there. Bam. So this is Unison, which is no different than here. In order to submit in Unison, you must be in SAM. It's a reverse auction. Does that mean they're always going to go with the lowest? No. Federal government contracts, um, these different opportunities are always based on the requirement in the statement of work. So you have to go through here to see what evaluation criteria they're using to figure out how they're evaluating it. But nonetheless, they're using Unison Marketplace. And so what you'll end up doing is uploading and submitting in here. Plus I recommend emailing the point of contact in the documents unless it states otherwise. When you go into Unison, they have a whole variety of opportunities. I like to go into all opportunities because in Unison, sometimes things in IT may be of interest, though I may not necessarily look in IT, but hey, you know, there's radios that they need someone to sell to them. Okay, this could be something you could flip, right? So this is just the way I like to look at Unison. You're more than welcome to put in key terms. You can drill down by active bids. You can go into what was posted today, what was posted in the last three days, what's, you know, all the opportunities, filtered opportunities, and these are filtered by like our NAICS and things of that nature and things that we're interested in. So here's one of my favorites. I, you, hopefully y'all know, if you don't know, I love religious positions, but we don't bid on priests. That's just my kind of sacred thing is we don't do that. However, comma, this is a great opportunity for those of you watching. They're looking for a priest to provide 480 um, hours. You find someone to fill the position, you mark it up and bam, you're making money off of a priest. So this is another awesome website to go to. Uh, I kind of chuckle because you're gonna find all types of opportunities on Unison. Again, you need to be, you have to register to go in here, which is very important. So now taking us back into SAM, we're going to drill down further. So we've looked at sources sought, we looked at pre-solicitation, we looked at solicitations and the combined solicitation. Now you may notice something is missing. Do you, you figure it out? It's request for information. So when it comes to the federal government, sometimes they'll use these words sources sought and request for information as one in the same. So don't think you're missing out or you did anything wrong if because you don't see that. Just look at sources sought. Also, request for quote. 
Sometimes they may put requests for quote under solicitation or combined synopsis. It's another term, another way of saying, hey, we want a quote from you. And more than likely, they may be more concerned about the price or it's a lower um, value opportunity. So they're not interested in giving you 10 um, attachments and looking for a uh, novel from you in response. So those are the, the areas I would focus on when going in here. You know, to just kind of summarize is you're going to focus in on the notice type. You're going to use your NAICS and make sure that you have updated data at the top. I also want to point out and I want to show you if you use a keyword. So let's put in cyber training. So we have APFD training that doesn't really want to open, but there we go. I don't even know what this stands for. Okay, so this is Advanced Partner Force Development and Sniper Integration. Is that cybersecurity? Uh, I mean, I don't think it's cybersecurity. So I, I just want to show the point that when you use key terms, it's going to pull up all these interesting things like dry ice delivery, net app maintenance. So it's, I just highly encourage you use a NAICS. What's cool though, is when you use a search like that, using the key terms, and maybe you open this and you're like, hey, it's not what I was looking for, but it's sniper training, count me in. And then you can see, well, which NAICS code are they using? Oh, okay, all other miscellaneous schools and instruction. And that's something for you to note and then possibly add to your list of NAICS. Because there's a strategic reason as to why agency use different NAICS. Uh, okay, so on nego.navy.mil is another place you go for Navy opportunities. I don't use this much, but I have used it and I have responded to opportunities that were posted on here. Because here's the thing, while the federal government has these different kind of acts and rules and regulations in place to reduce the use of paper, to reduce redundancy, don't assume an opportunity is in SAM just because the Navy issued it. It could only be here and not in here. These are not the only places where agencies place opportunities. Sometimes they're emailed to you privately, right? But you know, as far as the, the focus of this video, we're gonna dig in. I like to look at, um, I just go by set-asides when I'm in here because I'm just really interested as far as what are they even looking for. And you'll see switch in training, marine design, engineering support services, you know, and it's really old. So there's nothing really there. I put in 8A and even under 8A, everything's old. It could be that, hey, perhaps I'm wrong and they did transfer over everything. I don't know, but what I do know is I still get email updates from Nico about opportunities. So it's here, it's something to potentially take a look or if you're really heavy into the Navy, you may wanna ask a small business rep, hey, are you guys still using Nico? Should I not use Nico? Um, you know, what's the best way to search for opportunities on here? Let's see some other things that come up. Whew, just when I, when I thought I was out, I, I was counting myself out. Look y'all, whew, we got some 22s. Thank goodness. So it looks like the best way to really leverage this is by using a keyword. I know y'all are probably like, how in the hell? And I promise you, I've been awarded over $50 million in federal contracts. I do know what I'm doing. I just don't always use this website because um, we didn't get Navy, a lot of Navy clients until the past few years. So by putting in the keyword training, you see how they still source some things you see that there was a combined notice for small arms training. And if you click here, you can see the information. What's really cool about Nico is you get all the contact information, no different than Sam. So you have the person's email, you have Charles' email, there's a link. Okay, apparently that took us nowhere. 
This might be on Sam. Let's see. Oh, no. It's in here. And you're just going to get more information. If you want to fax them, you can even fax Charles. Check that out. So this is definitely, if you're Navy heavy, to go in here. As you can just tell, it's not really a site I use too, too much. However, again, Navy heavy, go in here. Why? Because nobody ever talks about this site. I bet you never even heard of Nico. If you've heard of Nico, comment and say, yeah, girl, I heard about Nico. Otherwise, I'm sure you haven't. Because um, nobody talks about it. The last thing is GSA eBuy. I'm not going to go into this because you have to have a GSA contract in, in order to be able to search in here. So what I'll just do is, is show you what it looks like, okay? So for those of you who are starting out or maybe you even have a million, two million in um, federal contracts, definitely Sam, definitely Unison, definitely Nico. For those of you who maybe you've always wondered what a GSA schedule looks like or you uh, have a GSA schedule or perhaps you're in the middle of applying for a GSA schedule, this is the portal and you go under um, find opportunities now and all of these opportunities are loaded based on the NAICS for my flagship company that's um, on this uh, MAS GSA schedule and these are it. There's no drilling down there. This is it. It's auto populated. It's kind of like a dating site when it says you've been matched with these seven people and that's it. You don't get to choose anyone else. You were only matched with those seven people. So it's very similar. And when you go in here, they explain more about the NAICS and inside of here, it has the um, number to reference and it also shares with you what they're looking for. They're looking for future leaders, strategic thinking and planning for the Corps of Engineers. And then inside of this document, they outline what they're looking for. As you can see, you know, it's pretty detailed as far as what they want. They even use, look at this nice font. They use Book Antica. Oof, I'm a font person. This is cute and they're um they're telling you what they're what they desire and so if this is something that's of interest and you have this gsa schedule you would bid on it and they outline how you respond the cost should be broken out so again what's beautiful about the gsa schedule is these are auto loaded your pricing and everything is already approved by the government it's easy super super easy Sam, while there's a lot of different techniques you can use, what's cool about Sam is there's a lot of low hanging fruit. And on Unison, they definitely are the website for the weird and unusual. Uh, so if you're like, hey, I'm open to anything, Unison is your place. And if you're super Navy specific, Nico is it. So again, thank you all my amazing GovCon winners. And also thank you again, Billionaire Status, for putting this comment in there. If there are other topics you want me to cover, please write them in the comment section. I just wanna help y'all. Please subscribe, hit the notification button, check out profitablecontracts.co. It's an awesome download that I have for you. And please, please always remember this, y'all. Everything is possible. Until next time, have an amazing, amazing day, evening. What may have you, y'all.